And welcome to your gold market update charts of the day for today, 20th of April 2023. Mike Smith, senior analyst at gold markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Overnight was an interesting session in the US, very choppy again. Uh, the Nasdaq and the S&P closed near neutral, the Dow slightly below neutral. Uh, we did, however, see those former two indices pairing significant early losses. US earnings season and the Fed remain in focus. It was precipitated, those early losses were precipitated by some hotter than expected UK CPI numbers, which upset the FTSE and then subsequently other index futures. But we did recover accordingly. However, US futures are negative in the early Asian session after Tesla missed earnings expectations in after the bell reporting, although IBM, the other tech giant reporting last night, did beat. Asian markets are generally to the downside today, not by much, but enough to be noticeable. The ASX is trading near neutral, down around 0.1 of a percent at this stage. European markets are pointing to a positive open, however, and the VIX is pausing at 15 month lows. US dollar index ebb slightly higher again, remains in the downwards trend channel. New Zealand dollar is under pressure after some softer than expected inflation data. Gold broke the key 2000 level in a really choppy session, but paired early losses to close near the highs of the session at the end of the US day. Copper paused in the short term range but tested support overnight and all has dropped. Bitcoin dropped through its short term range. Looks as though there's some selling in today's session to continue what happened last night. And of course, US earnings continue and ramp up even more next week. Today, we've got the RBA governor low speaking. We've got Chinese interest rate decision, the ECB meeting report, German PPI, US weekly jobs and housing and manufacturing data all due out later. Quite a lot again from the market to digest, combination of big earnings and significant data. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're going to start in the ASX and we're looking at Bravura Solutions in the business software space. Ticket code BVS, you can see there. Big drop subsequent to the last earnings in Feb, uh, but you can see there we recovered really nicely and now trading around this key 45 cent level. If we breach this, there's a big gap to fill, possibly in the first instance to around about 60 cents, but one to keep an eye on at the end of the day. It is up today, but we do need to see a breach of that key level to get interested. On the FX side of things, the GB pound Australian dollar looks really interesting. You can see here quite a choppy session overnight. We saw some strength in the GB pound after that hotter than expected inflation data yesterday. Pulled back to the pivot level at 185 and then looks as though it may be challenging 85 50 again in the Asian session today. We just take this out a little bit just for context. Pop it on the four hourly chart. You can see there a possible move up to maybe 86 in the first instance, uh, but potentially beyond that as well. So some significant price movement in this pair well worth watching over the next couple of hours or so. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.